hey you guys welcome back to the channel so as you guys can see by the title i am doing a get ready with me video um as you guys can see i already did my eyebrows so i kind of already started the video off quick so i'm starting off with doing my eyebrows and as you guys can see i'm using the la colors pro concealer and just fyi as we get into the video i'm gonna have a hard time trying to focus everything so sorry about that so i'm going to just apply some concealer onto my lids to prep for my eyeshadow and i'm dancing <laughs> i'm listening to music y'all so as y'all can see i'm y'all gonna be seeing me um dancing a little bit in the video <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Professionals palette. I love this palette. I got it from Walmart, super cheap. The colors come out fantastic. And I'm using like this dark chocolate brown just to put on my lids. Just a simple little color just to give my lids a natural looking color. So I'm gonna just apply this on my lids. Nothing special, just applying it as it goes. Now I am going in with my, I believe this is LA Colors, I believe. I can't see it, y'all. I think it's LA Colors um, eyeliner, and I'm just going to do a simple eyeliner. I'm not going to do a wing, so I'm just apply this. And as you guys can see, I love this eyeliner because it's so precise and thin that I can get like a straight line. So watch me struggle and do this, y'all. <laughs> So my eyeliner is complete and now I am about to put on the lashes. So I got these lashes from Beauty Floss Store, of course, and I've been wearing them for like a few days now. So I'm just going to apply them and this video is super hard for me to apply them on camera. So I'm going to um, probably erase half of the video because it's going to take up too much time. But I'm using my hair glue like I do always and using a rat tail comb to apply the glue because we just get them <laughs> but this is the best way i know how to apply glue to the my lashes and not having it get everywhere so yes y'all
lashes are now complete so i'm just going to put on some black eyeliner on black eyeliner on my waterline no particular brand just a brand that i got from the beauty supply store so just going to apply the eyeliner and as y'all can see i'm feeling myself so now we are doing foundation um, the foundation that I am using is Black Radiance. Pretty much all my products are Black Radiance. Um, I believe this is in the, um, I was about to say flavor. <laughs> I believe this is in the, um, the shade Chocolate. It, it rubbed off the packaging so you guys can't see what color it is. But it's in Chocolate and I just apply just a few strips to my face. My skin is pretty clear so I really don't need foundation. I just usually do it just to smooth my face out. And I'm gonna use a blendy, a blend, a blender sponge. Not a blender, but yeah, this is beauty blender, duh. Beauty blender to apply my foundation. Now the best part, we are going to contour. Um, my friend actually told me about this e.l.f. Um, concealer and it is the bomb for contouring. So I just dab just a little bit, like a few little lines because it's so like, the pigment is so good, I don't wanna look crazy. So I just apply some to my cheeks, to my nose. I didn't do my forehead, but I usually do, but I just didn't. So I'm gonna apply that and then I'm gonna blend it in with a blendy brush, a blendy sponge. Why the hell I keep saying brush? Blendy sponge. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Marshmallow on the beat. So as y'all seen, this part is pretty self-explanatory. I highlighted and contoured and I pretty much just blended it all in. So that's all I'm pretty much doing is blending, blending, blending to get a really good look. So yeah. All right, so pretty much almost the finale. So I'm just misting my spray, my spray, my face with some setting spray. And I forgot what brand this was. I didn't even look and see, but it's from the drugstore. I pretty much use all drugstore products, y'all. So everything you see here is drugstore. Um, I'm about to highlight. This is my favorite highlighter. Um, so just highlight my nose. I love highlighter on my nose. So I just highlight on my nose and um, upper lip and chin and yeah. Black 
so I'm about to apply my thick moles. I'm just using the eyeliner that I used to apply on my um, lid. Now lip time, uh, this is my favorite lip combo. I usually put lip liner on, but sometimes I really don't because lip liner make my lips seem small. But anywho, I'm applying Carmex and then this lip gloss is an NYX. It's called Fortune Cookie. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Definitely run out and get it. So applying Fortune Cookie NYX Butter Gloss and then I'm going to apply just a clear gloss which I got from the beauty supply store. All right, y'all, so it's hair time now. So I'm not gonna get too much into the hair cause I am going to do a separate video on where the hair is from and everything. So I'm not really going to do a hair review, but it's just a curly wig. And as you guys can see, I am flat ironing my edges to give me, you know, that Caucasian look. Can I say that? Well, whatever. Um, if you're on TikTok, then y'all know. Um, She's a Caucasian girl. She's a no, not Caucasian. She's a biracial girl. She's a biracial. Okay, so yeah, I'm just um, flat ironing my edges, and y'all, I cannot apply this lace front. Okay, so I bought this. Oh, I'm anywho. I'll tell y'all the story when I do my review on the hair. But just the FYI, I can't apply the lace front. So I'm wearing it as a headband wig because I paid heck of money for this wig and I'm not about to let it sit in my closet because I don't know how to apply it. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a headband on this wig and I'm going to rock it with a headband. <laughs> so once I learn how to apply this lace front like I want it to be applied, then yeah, we just going to wear it as a lace front. But yeah, that's just me talking mess about the wig, how I can apply it. So I'm just going to add a headband and we're just going to go. now to the best part of this video so i am going to be doing a review on dosier's perfume so this is just a little glimpse of me opening the package and how it came very sleek packaging very sh fast shipping the customer service rep was very responsive and to answer my questions so as you guys can see it arrived in this nice box great packaging so when you first open the box you will see this um, thank you letter and you will see a sample within your box and you will also get the perfume so the brand the perfume that I have is called amber saffron saffron Ambry Saffron. I may be pronouncing it wrong, but it smells amazing. I am so happy to be reviewing their company. And as you guys, I'm struggling to get this out the packaging. So as you guys can see, the bottle is the perfect size. The bottle is perfect. It's perfect for traveling. This is a French brand. Um, it is vegan free. And as you guys can see, the bottle is so sleek. I love sleek packagings for perfumes. So pretty, so little. You can fit it in your travel size bags and you can be on the go. So as you guys can see, I'm going to spray some of, a few sprays on me 
as I get ready to go. And I want to thank Dozier for letting me review their company for this perfume. It smells amazing. Make sure you guys check them out. I will have a discount code in the link below. And check out their website. They have a ton of other perfumes. And you will receive this letter that gives you information about the perfume. And just thank you for purchasing their product. And I cannot wait to try their other scents as well. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next.